Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to go through an example to understand the algorithm that we described in the previous uh, videos on decision trees. So here the idea is to apply the algorithm to learn a decision tree from a database. So let's use this example data set. Here we have three variables and one last column that contains the class, right? So the first variable is going to be the weather and it can take values sunny, windy or rainy. We are going to use W to name it. The second column is the variable live with parents and it can be yes or no. We are going to use the letter P to name that variable. And the third column is the variable economical situation. We are going to use the letter E and it can take values good or bad. And finally, the class, which is the weekend plans, and it, it, it can take two values, or going to the movies or stay home. So to start building the tree, the first thing we need is to compare the information gains of the three variables. For that, the first thing we need to calculate is the entropy of the class. So in this case, the column weekend plans we need to see what what are the values it can take. In this case, two values, right? And the proportions. So we know that the proportions here are five for movies and three for homes. So it's going to be five divided by eight and three divided by eight. So applying the entropy formula, we obtained uh, this value, 0 0.95 for four. Okay, so now let's calculate the information gain for weather. So we can get rid of the other variables. We just need the class column and the variable column. And uh, I'm using colors here to notice the different values that the variable weather can take, right? So we can see that this, the purple rows are for sunny, the blue rows are for windy, and the yellow rows are for rainy. So now, basically, I'm doing that because we are going to need those rows to calculate these conditional entropies, okay? So how we can obtain these conditional entropies? So for the first conditional entropy we need here, the entropy of the class given the weather equals sunny, we need to select the purple rows, and we have this situation, right? And we need to calculate the entropy of this column, and it's very easy because we have just half of the values are movies and half of the values are home. So it's one divided by two. And we know from the previous videos that this is the maximum situation of entropy. When we have four binary classes, 50% in one class, 50% in the other class, we have ma maximum entropy, which is equal to one. So now we can proceed with the entropy of the class when the weather is windy. In this case, we select the blue rows and then again, we calculate the entropy of this column. So we have two cases for movie out of three and one case for home out of three. So the proportions are two thirds and one third and we apply the entropy formula and obtain that value. Finally, we need the conditional entropy of the class given the weather equals rainy. So in this case, we select the yellow rows and we calculate the entropy here, where we have the two cases for movie and one case for home. So again, it's two thirds and one third used as proportions and we obtain that conditional entropy value. So substituting here, we obtained this. Okay, so recall that these values are the ones that we just obtained in the conditional entropies. So recall that these are the weights applied to the conditional entropies and they are obtained for the amount, from the amount of rows related to each of the values of the variable. So for example, this two divided by eight is because we have two rows with the value of sunny and then three rows with uh, windy and three rows with uh, rainy. So now we need to calculate the information gain of the other variable, the variable lead with parents. Again, it's gonna be the entropy of the class that already we calculated minus this weighted average of conditional entropies. 
when we instantiate on the different values that the variable libwin parents can take. So let's analyze this, let's calculate this information gain. So we can get rid of the other columns. And that given that we need these conditional entropies, we are going to, again, to divide according to the values of the variable live with parents, as we did with the weather case. So we take first the values where the live with parents is no, and we select those rows. And then this selection is going to be necessary to calculate this conditional entropy, right? From this, in this column. And the same for the values where live with parents is yes. We select those rows and it's going to be that column is going to be used to calculate the conditional entropy for a class given live with parents is yes. Okay. So I'll let you to do this calculus. Later I'm going to confirm that number. Now we need the information gain for the variable economical situation. Again, we need the conditional entropies when we instantiate in the different values that the variable E can take. So again, I'm gonna leave you to this, this, this calculus. Here are the results. You should get into these uh, two values for the information gain of parents, live with parents and uh, economical situation. So please do this yourself. So make sure you are understanding how to do this. So now comparing the three information gains, we, we can see that the variable live with parents has the higher value. So we select that variable as the root node of the tree. And then we create two edges depend, depending on the values that this variable may take. So in this case, one edge for yes and another edge for no, and we divide the database into two subsets. In this case, all the rows where live with parents is yes. And in this case, all the rows where live with parents is no. And we continue with the process. So now we need the second level class entropy, which is the left side of the, of the tree I just showed, right? In this case, again, we need to calculate the entropy of the class column as we did in the beginning but now we have less rows, right? Because we instantiate one of the variables. So to calculate this entropy, we need the proportions that are, that is the number of cases in one class and the number in the other. In this case, we have four movies and one home. So it's gonna be four divided by five and one divided by five. Those proportions apply to the entropy formula. So then we obtain 0 0.7219 for the, the class entropy. So now we need the cal to calculate the information gain of weather. Recall that we are in the left side of the tree. So we can get rid of the other column and uh, to calculate this, inf this information gain, again, we need to select according to the different values that the variable weather can take. In this case, we have two sunny, two windy and one rainy. So we are going to apply those proportions to the conditional entropies. So now the conditional entropies, all of them have in the right side, the, the variable live with parents equal to yes, right? Because we are in the left side of the tree, but we need to add now the condition on the possible values that the variable weather can take. In this case, sunny, rainy and windy. Okay, so let's obtain the conditional entropies. Same thing, we divide in the different set of cases for sunny, we have like a, the entropy is gonna be one. Why? Because we have 50% of the cases in one class and 50% of the cases in the other class, one divided by two, right? And we know that that is the maximum entropy from the previous videos. So it's gonna be one. In this case, the entropy is zero because we have all the cases in just one class, which is the trivial situation when you have one row so this is why the entropy is zero. And in this case, the entropy is also zero because we have two rows and in both cases, the class is the same. So we have 100% of the rows in the same class. That's another of the um, known values of entropy, which is 
zero. Okay, so substituting the values we just found, these three entropies plus the proportions, then we obtain the information gain for the variable weather when we already know that the live with parents is yes. Now we need to calculate the information gain of the variable economical situation. So we can get rid of, of the other variable. And again, we need to divide the rows according to the values that the variable economical situation can take. In this case, three case for bad and two case for good. So this is why we apply this proportion here to the conditional entropies again. This term comes from the class entropy and this term is going to be obtained from these rows. In this case, is the entropy of, of the proportions 2 divided by 3 and 1 divided by 3. And this term is going to be obtained from these two rows. In this case, the entropy is 0, right? Because all the rows belong to the same class. So how we calculate these conditional entropies? Well, I encourage you to do that calculus, but actually we did them before in other cases with one third and two thirds, and then with all the rows in the same class is zero. So they're straightforward and we can replace the values in the equation. And we obtain that the information gain of the variable economical situation, given that live with parents is yes, is 0 0.17. 92. In this case now we have that the variable weather has a higher information gain so it must be selected as the next variable in the tree. So now we replace the, the left table we had before with a new node here called weather and again this node must be split into the possible values that the variable weather can take sunny, windy, and rainy. And for each of the cases, we divide the database according by selecting the rows that correspond to that value in that variable. Okay, so now we realize that uh, for in the case when weather is sunny, the only remaining variable is economical situation. So we can replace this here and we add a new node with that variable. And again, we split the data according to the values that this variable can take. So economical situation can be bad or good, and we generate the new tables by keeping the rows that match this value in this variable, right? Okay, so now that we have the economical situation node and we instantiate it in the two possible values, in both cases we reach the one of the stopping criteria basically all the rows belong to the same class in this case movies and home so we can here replace or add one leaf node with the class movies and here we can add one leaf node with the class home now we must analyze the weather when it takes the value windy in this case we obtain this table and again we reach one of the stopping criterion where all the rows belong to the same class so we just replace that part with a leaf node with that class. And finally, when the weather is rainy, again, we obtain one of the stopping criterions. All the rows belong to class movies, so we replace this part with a leaf node with the class movies. So we are mostly done with the left part of the tree. Now we need to go and see what happens with, when the variable live with parents is no. So in this case, we have this table, right? Now we need to calculate the information gains of weather and economical situation to see what will be the node that take that place. So let's start with information gain of weather. In this case, we need to instantiate in the different values that the variable weather can take. In this case, it's rainy and windy, and we have one third and two third as proportions that will weight the conditional entropies. Besides the conditional entropies, we need the, the entropy of the class, right? Which is this term in the beginning of the equation. To calculate that, we just need to see this column. And we can see that we have proportions of two thirds and one third. Applying them to the entropy formula, we obtain this value for the entropy. Now we need the conditional entropies. So again, we 
by dividing the rows according to the values of weather, we see that we have two cases. The case when the weather is raining, we have one home and one movies. So this is 50% on each class. That means the entropy equals to one. And in the other case, just one row, all the cases belong to the same class. 100% of proportions in class home, entropy equals to zero. So replacing those values, we obtain this information gain for weather. So now for the economical situation, we can get rid of the other variable. And again, we're going to need the conditional entropies, right? Because this entropy of the class, we just calculated in the previous slide. So again, by seeing the different values that the variable economical situation can take, we have the conditional entropy of the class when the economical situation is good. We have one row. That means that we have 100% of the cases in one class. Then the entropy is zero. And in the other case, when the economical situation is bad, we have half of 50% of the cases in one class and 50% in the other. Maximum entropy means the entropy is one. So replacing those values with the respective proportions that come from the amount of rows in each case, we obtain this information gain for the variable economical situation. Finally, we obtain in this case that both variables have the same information gain. In this case, we can pick any of them. So let's choose here the variable economical situation. We can see that in case when the economical situation is good, we have just one row and it's gonna be home. And when the economical situation is bad, we have 50% on each case we need to split again. So this is why we have when it's good, it's home. And when it's bad, we split again according to the weather and we have two stopping cases. I encourage you to validate this from this table. So as a summary, in this case, we saw one full example on how to build a decision tree from a database, mostly a toy database, right? Um, but in real cases, we're going to demand for a minimum amount of rows to continue the construction. In most of the leaves, we were adding the class just relying on one or two rows. So in real situations, that never happens. In general, we need to put a leaf node with a class relying in a minimum amount of rows in order to make this uh, statistically significant, right? So in the next video, we are going to see some of the pruning criteriums to stop the construction of, of the tree when we have already few rows remaining.